Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we would be discussing on how we can add memory to the chart model. Till the previous version, which is version 0.2, we were using runnable with message history class for a model to add the memory. Like in, for in case if you want your model to remember all the previous questions you have asked and all, whatever you have told to the model previously, if you want everything to remember, we were using this class, but from version 0.3 onwards, they recommend to use Langgraph instead of this one. So now in this tutorial, we will see how we can add memory to our chart models in Langchain using Langgraph. So I just created an LLM with the chart open A because I'm using open A model. Uh, just LLM dot invoke, you can ask anything. My name is Pravin Reddy dot C. I have told it. Uh, it said like, hello Pravin Reddy, how can I assist you? But now again, when I ask what is my name, it does not remember that. I'm sorry, but I don't access the personal information about you unless you share with me. So it does not remember what I have told uh, the model. So for a model to remember what we have asked and what we have told, we need to add a memory to that model. To add a memory, we use Langgraph here. That's it. So I just imported the required, required uh, libraries. And in Langgraph, we have to create a graph or workflow, whatever you name it. Like if you, in case if you want to relate it with some other thing, like if you use uh, Airflow, in Airflow, we create multiple tasks and we link those tasks into a workflow, right? Now similarly here, we have to create a workflow and that workflow should be accepting all the messages. Whatever messages means are the queries, whatever we ask and whatever the information we share to the model, all these kind of messages inside the invoke. So you to create a graph in Langgraph, we have a class called state graph. We have to use this class and pass this argument so that it remembers each and every query which we have asked to the model. So using which I have created a graph and I named it as a workflow. And now I have a method. And so this method takes an argument called state and it is of type message state. So this will have all the messages which we have asked the model and we invoke that model and we return the response. That's it. This is the method which is used to just call the model. That's it. Or just to invoke the model. That's it. And here in Langgraph, we have two things called edge and nodes. Edge is nothing but to link two nodes, we use edge. And node is nothing but a place where some action is done. So now if you see, an edge connects two nodes together into the graph. So to make a graph, we need to connect two nodes and the two nodes is connected using the edges. That's what it says. It determines the order in which the nodes are executed, specifying which node should be executed first. So using edge, we decide which node should be first, which should be second. Here we said the start should be first and once it started, then the model node should be called. And in the, and in the next step, we have declared the model. So whenever you call model, you have to call this method. That's it. The, the method which we have declared above. That's what adds the individual step or action in the graph. Add node adds the individual step or action in the graph. That's it. If you see in the example we posted, add node, model of call node means there is a node named model in the workflow and its job is to run the call model function. That's it. So some kind of action if we have, then that action we can call it as a node and to link two nodes, we use edge. That's it. So the starting, once the graph starts and then call the model node that's what we mentioned here and in the model node we have mentioned to call the method called call model that's it and to save everything whatever we have asked to the model we use the memory saver class here so i just created an object to the memory saver so and what it is once i create the workflow this is very simple workflow i mean in lang graph we create the workflows so once the workflow is created to make the workflow as a graph, we have to use workflow.compile and here we are using this memory saver class to save all the memory. I mean to, uh, to remember all the messages which we have asked to the LLM. That's what we say. So now from next on, if we can use this app dot invoke off. So if you see here, we have asked app dot invoke of the message we want. So now we have another step here. This, this is called config. If you, so now when you ask or when you query a model, we need to pass this configuration information. 
so that all the similar messages can be mapped i'll show you so now the, this config takes a key as configurable and the value as thread uh, another dictionary as thread one i'll tell you why we have used thread one here so now i have a question hi i am praveen reddy c and i have wrapped it into a human message and i am using app dot invoke this is how we invoke the model right so when we, app is nothing but the workflow which we have created the compiled workflow which we have created is called app app dot invoke of messages and this input message we have passed and come a config i'll tell you why we have called the config so when i run it if you see we have the human message is hi i am praveen reddy c which is fine and the model responded hello praveen how can i assist you today so now i have given another human message to the model praveen reddy c belongs to a village named mungala and many people just call him praveen that's what this is another text and i have wrapped it under human message and again i have used the same app dot invoke the workflow dot invoke and i have passed the same config which i have created here config of one only thread of one only so when i output it if you see human message is this and nice to meet you praveen it sounds like you have a strong connection to your village munugala that's what it said so in this step we have two human messages and we try to explain about a person called praveen and where he belongs to now we can query the model and ask what is uh, my name and it should return praveen reddy if you see your name is praveen reddy c how can i ask you where does praveen stay and what is the full name of the praveen it should return the info based on the information we gave before we gave to a village named munugala right so you mentioned that you belong to a village named munugala and your full name is praveen reddy c so that's how we uh, using lang graph we are able to make sure the model remembers all the queries which we have asked now if you see every time whenever i invoke a model i have passed a config and this config is nothing but the key as configurable and the value as a dictionary with the thread comma 1 what if i change this to thread comma 2 i'll show you see i asked the same question now instead of the config 1 i'll just pass it as a config thread uh, 2 now if i pass it 2 here and if I run it, it does not remember anything. I'm sorry, I can't provide a personal information about individual. Now, if I pass a thread as one, it should remember everything. See, see, that's it. So this configuration information is used to group the messages we asked to the model as every time whenever we queried we kept thread id equal to one so it checks only for the messages for which it got with the thread id as one and again if you have some different types of questions and if you pass thread id equal to two and when you ask some question with the thread id two it checks only those messages with which we pass thread id equal to two only so it is literally used to group the messages we asked to the model that's it so this is how you create a graph in langchain using the state graph class which takes the message state because we do ask messages to the model right so the argument should be of message state and this workflow once we create using once we create a basic graph and named it as a workflow we can add edges and nodes and once we add edges and node we have to compile it and while compiling we should use which memory type we should use not only memory saver class we have multiple methods which we see more clearly in the lang graph tutorial so this is the very basic example now let's go and see a little bit more with what we have learned in the previous videos like how to build a chain what is runnable so let's include all those now and create a lang graph so in the previous videos we have seen how to create a prompt and in langchain to create a prompt we use chart prompt template dot from messages and we'll keep uh, the messages inside so here i just created a prompt the first system message is answer in language so language is a variable which we pass at the runtime and the second thing we have just message placeholder so here uh, we have kept a placeholder 
so that we can pass the messages i mean whatever the messages we ask will be kept here that's why we have this is like message placeholder is a class which is save some memory and we can add the messages during the run time here that's the purpose of message placeholder now if you see i have created a chain named runnable with the prompt and the output of the prompt will be passed to the llm llm is what we created above here llm chart open a now runnable is a chain so now what we are doing we are just importing the required libraries and he, before in the state graph in the above example we were passing the messages straight only because we were just asking some queries and expecting the response and it, we just want our model to remember all the questions we have asked that's it but here along with the messages we have another query in our prompt called it should answer in the language of our choice every time so that's why we created a class here we created a class called state and it takes two arguments one is messages and another is language and it is a, we are using the type dictionary here so to pass an arguments to a model one of the technique is type dict i have this explained all the techniques in one of my video so now that's it so now if you see we have created a graph using state graph which we have used above as well and instead of messages state here we are using our custom class named state and it expects two arguments one is messages and another is language that's it we have we, that graph name we have created as a workflow and here we are we have another method called call model and instead of llm dot invoke we are using runnable dot invoke that means our chain name is runnable now runnable dot invoke of the state so before we were just passing the messages here and we are passing the state here every time every time we are passing the state information that means the model expects these two arguments every time right so we are just using the, this class name to pass an argument you can watch um, this my this video where i can where i have explained how to use pydantic type dict json schema and custom extraction to parse the response from the json that's it and i have created a graph here and instead of messages i am just using this class and now i have created this model uh, i have created and i have created this method this method will just invoke the chain with the messages or with the state we have passed and it returns the response in the form of dictionary with the key as messages that's it and for the workflow we as we created a basic graph here we need to add the starting point and ending point right so it starts with the start and uh, it, it then goes to the model node and the model node will have a method called call method that's it and we are using the same memory memory saver class to save all the memory that's it from now on you can you just use app dot invoke of to ask everything if you see here hi i am pravin reddy see i am from monugala village this is a human message because our chain in expects two arguments here the language and the message in the message placeholder messages variable name is messages so if you see we are passing with the messages key and the language this one and when we ask uh, when we query the app dot invoke we are getting the response in telugu that's it and then i said your father is farmer in munugala and i and it remembers even that, that message as well and now when i ask what does pravin reddy do and where do he stay it has responded in telugu the it responded correctly only so this is a another way or a little bit more complex uh, lang graph with which we can save the memory so to create an agents we use lang graph ideally and along while creating an agent we should save we should have the model to remember all the messages we asked right for that this is how we save the memory that's it thank you so much for watching